hi everyone a very warm welcome to my channel in today's video we are going to talk about nvc processing times the video intends to cover the following topics number one understanding the role of nvc processing time during immigration process number two current nvc processing time and finally the third point how to address the following situation when your case is outside of normal processing times. Let's get started without wasting our time. National Visa Center acts as a middleman between United States Citizenship and Immigration Services, more commonly known as USCIS and United States Embassy. An average immigrant petition goes through the following stages. Number one, USCIS number two, NVC, and then finally, U.S. Embassy. Once the petition I-130 or I-129 is filed at USCIS, a Notice of Action NOA-1 form is issued. Once the petition is processed at USCIS, Notice of Action 2 is then issued and the petition is then transferred to National Visa Center or NVC. Processing of the petition varies according to the visa category of the applicant, relationship of the applicant with the petitioner, priority date of the applicant and citizenship of the petitioner. In general, U.S. citizens' petitions are processed faster than the petitions filed by LPRs, also known as green card holders. It is also important to note that those visa categories whose priority date is current, such as spouses of U.S. citizens and LPRs, as well as parents of U.S. citizens, are processed immediately. Once the case is transferred to NVC, NVC is then responsible for the following things. Number one, accepting and verifying the petition received from USCIS. Number two, allowing the petitioner or the applicant or the lawyer to upload affidavit of support, also to submit fee for affidavit of support and DS-260, additionally facilitating the completion of uploading and submission of relevant original documents to support the relationship of the petitioner with the applicant. The examples of such documents are birth certificate, marriage certificate, etc. Thirdly, transferring the case to U.S. Embassy once the applicant is documentarily qualified so an interview can be scheduled. FYI, DQ is a stage when all required documents are submitted by the applicant and they are approved by NVC. The reason that NVC processing times are so important is that it allows roughly to estimate the status of the case that is whether or not the case has been transferred to NVC, whether or not the submitted documents are looked upon, and also when to expect reply from NVC once you have emailed them. NVC processing times are updated weekly, mostly on Monday. Here's a simple and quick way how can you check your NVC processing time. <music> Let's talk about this week's processing time for the following date. Current case file creation time. Current case file creation time frame. As of this week of 2021, NVC is working on the cases that were received from USCIS on USCIS approves I-797, they will send the case to National Visa Center for processing. NVC will then create your case and enter the data from your petition into the system. It is important to keep the welcome letter in a safe place as this information will be needed to log into SEAC throughout the entire visa process. Now let's talk about current case review time. Before the National Visa Center, reviews your case, you must pay fees and submit all the required documents such as petitioner's affidavit of support, supporting financial documents, applicant's DS-260 and applicant's civil documents. 
Required documents vary based on the petition type. The types of required civil documents and how to find them is available on NBC site. So the current case review time as of 2021 of this week is that they are reviewing documents submitted to them on the following date. Lastly, let's talk about current public inquiry form response time. If you do not know how to send them email, it will come up in the later part of the video. So current email response time for this week of 2021 is the following. They are responding to the inquiries received on the following date. if your case is out of normal processing time that is your case should have been processed according to the time frame given by nvc on their site however it is still behind the normal processing time posted by nvc this is what you can do there are two ways to address this issue number one contacting them via email and number two contacting them via phone number or calling them. Let's look at method number one that is via email. Let's look at method number two that is contacting them via call. For immigrant visa inquiries, NVC can be contacted via following phone number 603-334-0700. Customer service representatives can speak with you Monday through Friday from 7 a.m. to 2 12.00 midnight Eastern time. This brings us to the end of this video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe so that you can stay updated with the latest NVC, USCIS and US Embassy interview news.